Hey, everybody. It's Ian from Ferrum, and we are back with another edition of the Ferrum interview series. This time we are with the team of GovWorld, a project uh, which we are uh, advising and um, in which the Ferrum community is able to get an allocation in the private sale. We thought this would be a wonderful opportunity for you guys to get to know the team a little bit, get to check out the product, um, and, and get excited for the uh, launch of the token, which is coming in the not too distant future. So with that, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Chris and Mustafa, the founders of GovWorld. And uh, let's, uh, let's, let's take this away. Yep, thanks. Hey, Ian. Ian. Thanks for having, thanks for uh, being here, guys. Um, Glad to be here. Why thanks don't for we having start- us. Why don't we start with some brief introductions of Chris and Mustafa, your guys' background, and then we can go into the project a little bit. Sure, Mustafa? Yeah, so my name is Mustafa. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for GovWorld. Um, I just graduated university two years ago. I've always had an interest in crypto since I was 13, actually, which is around nine years ago now. Um, I kind of been, I've been all over the place. I'm currently based out of Dubai. Uh, so yeah, this is just a little bit about me. Nice, thank you. Great. Yep. So I'm Chris with CEO of GovWorld, and uh, my background is in financial services for almost 20 years. Um, spent a lot of time in corporate America and uh, global logistics as well. But um, the but the thing that brought me to crypto in 2017 was the whole idea of decentralized finance and uh, distributed ledger technology. So for, for, for me, it was a, it was a, a wow moment. And ever since then, not only has the idea of crypto as a currency kind of, uh, captured my attention, but also the decentralized nature of the app side of things. So, um, that's a little bit about me. Great. Thank you for that illuminating background guys. Um, now before we get into the demo side of things, um, why don't you just give us a little overview of the project and, and just explain what the GovWorld experience is all about? Sure. So, so the GovWorld experience basically is a DeFi. It's an, uh, a DeFi ecosystem. And the star of the Deco, DeFi ecosystem is a peer-to-peer lending platform where anybody that holds approved altcoins in their wallet or NFTs Uh, All they have to do is connect to our application and they can see how much cash they can borrow against their assets. Um, And then there are other related products and services within the ecosystem, which I'll show you when we begin the demo, that kind of uh, support that and give utility to the Gov token. Uh, So that's that's what GovWorld is in a nutshell. And we think we're furthering the DeFi space um, in a unique way, particularly on the NFT side, but also on the altcoin and DEX side. Well, it sounds very promising. And, and as someone who's seen the demo of the product, <laughs> I know how promising it is. Um, so I can't wait to dive into that. But before we do, uh, I think a question on, on many people's minds is there are, there are a lot of uh, lending and borrowing platforms out there already. So what are some of the differences between maybe some of the more well-known ones and, and what GovWorld is doing? Sure. So most of the lending platforms that we see out there, Ave, Compound, Yearn, you know, they have a small set of tokens that that uh, they accept that you can borrow against. And there, we haven't seen any kind of a, a peer-to-peer lending platform that is as customizable. That's one of the key elements is, of ours is it's highly customizable so that the, the terms of the loan are squarely in the borrower and lender's hands. Therefore, all things can be worked out between borrowers and lenders, and it's governed by smart contracts. So uh, that would be the main difference is that you will be able to now borrow against many, many altcoins that you were never able to borrow against in the past. That's awesome. That sounds like it could unlock a tremendous amount of utility for those tokens and, and, and value for those token holders. So I think that's that sounds very promising. Um and I'm excited to uh, dive into the project a little bit. So with that, um, why don't we open up the product and we can give folks a little sneak peek of what you guys have been building? Sure. Sh- share my screen. Yeah. Okay. The, here's the application right here. 
And basically what you do is come to the app, you connect your wallet across the top, you can see the scrolling um, da daily rates for uh, stable coins, as well as 30 day interest rates from the main um, stable coin uh, platforms that you can, you can uh, earn money on. And basically what you do when you come to GovWorld, you connect your wallet and it's gonna show you your portfolio of approved altcoins and NFTs, right? And so we will get into how we do the approvals, but basically what we do is we go by chain and then by DEX. So we will enter three criteria um, when we run a query against the debt, the main DEXs on each chain. And that gives us a list of tokens. And then that tokens gets batch approved on our, onto our platform. So like large caps are top 250 coin market cap coins. Uh, mid caps or top 500, low, low mid caps or top 750, and so on, down even to NFTs, right? So if you have any of these types of altcoins in your wallet or NFTs in your wallet, you will be able to see the maximum cash that you can borrow against your holdings. So let's say you're a long-term holder of one of these altcoins or these NFTs, you can see how much you can borrow against the value of your portfolio, right? So then you just press stake, stake loan, and it takes you over to GovLoan. Uh, GovLend, and then uh, the loan builder, and then you just go through a three-step process. Very simple. You you choose private or public loan offer. Why this is important is because within communities, maybe let's say you're talking to a person within a community, and you say, "Hey, I, I'm I'm a, I'm going to be holding my tokens for a while, but I want to borrow some cash against it. I'll give you 50% APY for USDT." And they say, sure, you can create a private loan offer and create the whole loan with all the terms, send them the link, and then they can go through and accept it or not. And then you guys are, you have this internal loan between two people. If it's public loan offer, it goes on to our loan marketplace, which we'll show you in one second. So then you can come in here, this person, they can see based on their tier level with us, uh, it increases your loan to value, right? And so this person can borrow $167,000. So if they want, you know, $100,000, they would do that for 14 days, let's say. Then they come over here and they can choose their, their either single token, multi-token, single NFT or multi-NFT loan. And then they can, they can then come to the APY side of things. And this is where it gets interesting because what we do is we feed in to the platform itself. We feed in. Uh, yearns today's rate and 30 day rate Ave and compound. And then you can pick which kind of stable coin you want. And then when you come down here, it asks you what's your APY offer. So we're, we're literally giving the information to the borrowers, what you're competing against. So let's say, for example, they wanted to uh, go with Ave, and they wanted USDT. We're going to ask them what their multiple is. And then if they choose, uh, let's say, I'll go three times what Ave is paying, then that, that'll be what 28, uh, that'll be 30.4% APY that they would offer the lenders, right? And so um, uh, then it becomes more competitive. They also get to see what the other borrowers that are borrowing that same size loan amount what their highest APY is. And so the, in other words, our, our borrowers are competing not only against other, other um, stablecoin lending platforms, they're also competing against other borrowers to win the money, right? So therefore we expect some really, really high APY, probably short-term loans, um, particularly in, in the bull markets, right? Where someone might be willing to pay you know, let's say you borrow $100,000 and you offer 100% APY for two weeks, that turns out to be like $4,000 you would pay, but you'd have access to $100,000 in cash for two weeks in a crypto market and never have to sell your, your um, tokens. And uh, we'll get into the partner FI side of things, because if that token is also a strategic partner of GovWorld, there's some extra benefits that their community will get. So um, that's one of the things that we wanted to do is give all the control to the borrower for all the terms of the loan, right? So they want to they want to outcompete people for the cash, and then they just come to the summary. They can see here uh, what their summary is of their loan, and then they can go and stake that loan in the loan marketplace. And when you come to the loan marketplace, um, any active loans that you're already in will show up as um, as your collateral portfolio. 
And in this example, you can see that the green line is the value of the collateral that you're staking and the red lines are getting close to liquidation. That means if your collateral starts dropping in value, and this has only to do with altcoins, not NFTs. For NFTs, we don't track, uh, we don't use price as a reason to liquidate the loan, only if you don't pay back the loan in time. So NFTs are really cool because anybody can stake their NFTs and we'll get into that in a minute. So that loan then shows up on the loan marketplace. In this example, it is an NFT, it's on OpenSea. They're asking, they're offering a 53% APY for USDC for a 30 day loan. So a lender can come in here and they can browse the loans and they can find out the best rates for these uh, for their stable coins. And then they can choose to accept it and fund part of the loan. And, um, and, and, and then I'd say the last exciting part of the whole GovLend process is the reverse loan builder, which will come out in Q4. And that's where you can literally uh, short the market uh, through the reverse loan. And why that's important is it, it, it's another utility for the Gov token in bear markets where you can utilize any holdings that you have and make money with them in a, in a, in a pullback or a bear market. So that's, that's pretty much the GovLend protocol. Um, and then if you go to our white paper, you'll see this, it's called the GovWorld ecosystem. And, and really it's governed by our committee, governance committee, Ian, which you're on, um, and our community. We're launching, I think in a few weeks, three, four weeks, no dates yet, <laughs> told not, to, not to give any dates. Uh, but, but so, yeah, so right on the left-hand side is our, our ecosystem of our products and services right? And all of those products and services from our GovLend, GovBridge, our, our farming pools, um, GovGames, generate fees that ge then come back and creates buy pressure on the Gov token. And anytime we, we launch a new product or service, it goes through the process of assessing it, developing it, auditing it, and launching it. Um, we're very security conscious, I would say, right, Mustafa, and just kind of conservative in that sense. Yeah, so... Um, uh, so if we go back to the application, sorry. So everything you see here on the left-hand side in the ecosystem shows up here on the left-hand side in our, in our, um, dashboard on our dashboard, on our, on our, on our side navigation, on our yeah. side navigation dashboard. Yeah. So if it's under construction, you know, it's coming soon. So we're building, we're building it out. Well, first Govland of all, is it, Govland will be going to Govland, the, the good protocol for Govland is going into audit uh, this week. So. Okay, great. Uh, you guys have made a massive headway on the product uh, since you and I began uh, talking about this project many months ago. So I just want to commend you and your, your uh, dev team for making um, incredible progress in the past few months. Um, Thank you. The, but the, the, first of all, the product looks beautiful. Uh, very Thanks. user friendly, clear. Um, the branding is, is on point. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, great work. Uh, but I think, I, I think the value proposition um, is, is that all of, a, all of a sudden these altcoins, which you, you really couldn't, you know, it, if you're holding altcoins, say even Ferrum token to get into pre-sales, it's hard to generate, you know, yields. Otherwise, um, you know, for instance, we don't offer staking for those tokens the way our system works. But now you can go to to GovWorld and you can actually borrow against the value of those tokens, which was not possible up until now. And, and I know you guys are doing some really cool things with other partner tokens, uh, Dex Dex Tools and, and DuckDAO, and probably some others. Um, but a lot of I know your I know your plan is to work with a lot of altcoins. So the value proposition to me is sir, it's you're solving a big need in the market. And to my knowledge, there aren't uh, there aren't a lot of competitors that are offering exact. You know, there's obviously borrower uh, borrowing lending um, protocols out there, but none working with these uh, the low caps. And certainly, I don't think there's any with NFTs either, which is something I I want to dive into. Um, but I yeah I, I think this is this product could really be a big hit. And I think the Ferrum community for one will be really excited to, 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 uh, to use the, the uh, part of the product related to borrowing against the value of your NFTs, because that I have not seen before. And I think could be huge because to my knowledge, NFTs mostly just sort of sit around. 
in, you know, in your wallet, you can have it up on OpenSea, but if you don't sell them, they're not really generating any alpha for you. So this could be a way to generate some value through your sort of um, your NFTs that are just in your wallet, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So we can, so the NFT and altcoin approval process works like this. The first thing we do is we go by platform and we have just announced our strategic partnership with NF Trade, who launched a couple of weeks ago and they're just doing a great job. Um, but what we do, our developers, uh, what we do is we go by platform and auto approve every NFT on the platform. So if you've got it in your wallet, it, sh it should show up when you connect your wallet as an option to use for staking for a loan. So we do not value the NFT at all. We use the last price if there has been trading history, or if it's a new NFT, we use the list price. Uh, and so those prices and the information about the NFT are ported in to our platform. And then the, um, and then uh, the information is show, shows up, right? So that the person who holds that NFT, all they have to do is make a loan offer. If the loan offer is accept, if the loan offer is competitive, meaning it gives a high enough APY and the terms are favorable, we we think of us like uh, just a platform that connects borrowers and lenders. So we are like eBay for short-term high APY loans, right? So if people are, um, if a lender is into NFTs and they see a, an, a, a, an NFT collateral that they like, then they can, they can fund that loan for that person, right? And then that person, as long as they pay back the loan on time, that person is, um, is, uh, gets their NFT back. If they don't pay it back in time, then that's the only way they can get liquidated. Now we give seven uh, alerts to a person as their loan is coming to an end. Hey, your loan's about to come to an end, pay it back, you know? And we give that uh, um, every certain number of days leading up to the end of the loan. That way they are notified in plenty of time to pay back that loan at the end of its term within 24 hours of the end of its term. And if they do that, they get their NFT back if they pay it back. If they don't, the NFT transfers to the lender and then they own it um, going from there. So that is, that's kind of our process. Uh, again, liquidation is based solely on timely payback. And again, here's the altcoin uh, process, which is we go by chain and then by DEX on each chain. We run the criteria. It pulls up a set of tokens for that DEX. Um, we are partnering with Chainlink. We're very excited about this. This is actually a really cool thing that we're, we're, we're doing. So we're, I think Chainlink is really expanding and going beyond with a lot of projects, beyond just the number of tokens that they began with. And we've had several calls with them. So some of these tokens are gonna meet their requirements, which are higher than even like the minimum of our requirements to become approved collateral. And uh, if they are, um, if, when, if they hit their requirements, then Chainlink will, will be the Oracle that we use for those tokens for the loans. So it's, it's just an added layer of security and added layer of safety for our, for our users. We do uh, any of the other tokens that don't qualify for the Chainlink Oracle. We have a TWAP, a time-weighted um, average price Oracle that our developers have built and our developers are super smart and very experienced in DeFi. So they will be uh, pulling on-chain data directly from the DEX along with some other API uh, data and using that as a, over 10 blocks to determine if they are below the, 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 the um, liquidation threshold. And after 10 blocks, if they are, then, then it gets liquidated. But we do everything in our power to make sure that there's no manipulation by, um, by fl flash loans. So that's kind of our process for, for NFTs and altcoins. Thank you for that overview. I think it sounds like with respect to um, the altcoins, um, you've um, built in a, a system that's that's relying on on-chain data and is um, verified and, and um, you know, it's pretty clear. The unique thing about the NFT side, though, it's a pure, it's, it's just a pure, um, it's a purely peer-to-peer um, relationship, right? So it's like, what do you, what does this person think the NFT is worth? And then, you know, it, it, did they make strong enough um, APY and loan terms? So this, this, this could go a long way in determining the actual true value of some of these NFTs, which I find fascinating. 
because up until now it's been sort of it sort of felt a little arbitrary in some ways. This this is going to be really interesting, I think, um, and it could it could take off in a huge way um, in in the world of NFTs in particular because un, again unlocking value in that NFT that was not really present before. Yeah. So uh, as far as NFTs go, you know, um, they're highly subjective in their pricing. There is not a lot of trading. So um, nowadays, you know, mainly you see a lot of NFTs come up and there's two things, you know, either they have great utilities or the artwork is amazing, right? So it's visually pleasing. Um, but what happens when, you know, you've used up the utility or all the utilities burned up, then it's kind of like in some scenarios, you're just stuck with that NFT there, right? There's not much you can do with it. And uh, this has happened personally to me too. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate on the same uh, same page as me where, you know, you buy an NFT with one thought in mind, but you, you don't actually foresee, you know, in six months time or in a year's time, what's going to happen. You know, I, I just, I'm sitting here with these NFTs and not much to do with them. So that's kind of where uh, we see a lot of value coming in from what we offer on GovLand. Uh, you know, users can take their NFTs, like Chris said, from any of the platforms uh, we mentioned OpenSea, Rarible, Nifty Gateway, and our most recent strategic partner uh, that we announced was uh, NF Trade 2. Uh, so you can just basically take these NFTs and you can stake them for loan offers. I love it. Yeah, I think you're going to unlock a whole nother set of value related to these NFTs um, and really could upend the, the NFT market to some degree. Uh, and I'd like, to get, I'd like to connect you guys with a couple more NFT platforms um, that I think would love to partner up with you guys. Once the cat's out of the bag on this, this could really take off. So I commend you guys for coming up with this and I can't wait to use it myself. Same here. Um, oh, go ahead, Chris. I said, thank you. So um, let's talk a little bit about the utility of the token. It sounds like you've come up with a lot of different products and services were wonderful. How does each one of those tie into, uh, into the utility of the Gov token? So um, I would say the main utility of the Gov token is having the ability to um, stake your, your assets for loan offers, right? So as we move from DEX to DEX, from NFT platform to NFT platform, we're continue, continually increasing uh, the number of current and future assets users can stake uh, for loan offers. Um, so within our ecosystem, you know, we have tier levels, I think, as Chris mentioned before. And the main difference then, um, you know, as you go up from bronze all the way to platinum in our tier levels, uh, there's a different series of benefits. But the main one would be the LTV, the loan to value ratio, uh, starting at 30 percent for bronze members all the way up to 70 percent for platinum. Um, now, although I don't think many people would use 70 percent, it is a value we give. And, you know, holding our token would just entitle users to, to having this benefit. Um, apart from that, we will have more benefits. Uh, more utility to talk about in the future, you know, Gov Games uh, is going to be something really big. Uh, so we're really excited as a team to, to share more details on that. But that's definitely going to play a big part in the utility of the Gov token. Fantastic. Yeah, what I what I love about your guys' approach is that it's clear that every product or feature that you've launched or plan to launch, you've thought, how can how how will this increase the utility uh, of the gov token you know it's it, the, the token is does not feel it's not an afterthought it's front and center with you guys and i think that's how you should run a project um, in the crypto space and um i'm not surprised that you've taken that approach given your experience uh, nine years in crypto and i know you guys are a part of many governance community committees and so on um so your experience is really shining through so that's that's great um, one thing I imagine folks are, uh, interested to, to understand is when will this product be out relative to, um, the approximate date of the TG, like, like how, where, how, how far along are you in development of this product? Yeah. So, um, around TGE, we'll be releasing two of our products and services. The uh, first two will be. Um, GovBridge and FarmFi. All right, so GovBridge is uh, the bridge between the different chains that we'll be supporting, uh, where users can even use the Gov token as gas. Um, FarmFi will be anything related to farming, staking, um, you know, where our VIP uh, strategic partners exclusive staking pools will be. Is, um, so those two will be the first two to really go live. 
um, on GovLand. Uh, Chris can can tell you a bit more about that and uh, when when users can expect to see see that live. Approximate approximations are fine. We understand that development, you know, is it takes a circuitous route often. But uh, I know I'm excited to use the product, so I'm just uh, you know looking forward to when it launches. Yeah. So the TGE, like Mustafa said, we will we will launch with a a, a couple of products that our community can use. Uh, but then, um, like I said, our GovLand protocol is an audit is being audited. This it's going into audit this week. So we're figuring we're giving ourselves a few weeks, three, four weeks, whatever it takes to make sure it's done right. We don't want to launch with any bugs or anything like that. And after launch, we also will have bug bounties as well, paid out of our Gov Genius. So we've allocated 1.5 percent of all Gov tokens to to that for that purpose. So great. Yeah. Our goal is in no, our goal is in November, but we don't, you know, like 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 you've said, it's we don't want to get too too date centric uh, on that. That's good. I always advise teams never promise any dates. So I just uh, violated my own rule by asking that question. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I think it's very important. And I hope everyone picked up on the uh, the fact that you guys are taking security uh, extremely seriously. Uh, this is a kind of protocol that, you know, you, 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 you can't you can't have any exploits. Um, so we're, we, we all understand that. But you're, you're auditing it now. There may be some work you'll need to do post audit. Um, perhaps a bug bounty even will be done at around that time testing, of course, and then uh, hopefully a beta launch. Um, I, I, you know, I would hope, um, you know, sometime in Q4, maybe early Q1 or something like that could be, would be feasible, I would imagine. So uh, it's not, it's, it's not too far off as I think everybody can see, right? Like the front end is beautiful. A lot of the functionality is already there. I guess it's just the smart contracts. Um, and then the final testing and stuff. So uh, the, the, it's closer than folks might think. I mean, we're looking forward to it. And as soon as we have, uh, you know, solid dates uh, set in stone, we'll announce them and update the community. Uh, you know, all of our updates and developments are announced in our official TG channel and our Twitter page. So, yeah. Great. So um, before we sign off, any uh, any final words? Um, you know, anything coming up? Anything else you want to touch on uh, before we end the interview? Yeah, I, I think uh, we should touch on um, the partner fi side of things, right? So when we when we go through, I don't know if you guys can see my my screen still. Yes. Okay. So when we go through and we we hit, let's say Uniswap, and we enter in our parameters and we pull up the tokens, we see their total liquidity, total volume, right? Um, we, if they hit certain parameters, right, they're gonna be approved. If any, if any projects are approved and they are also a strategic partner of ours, what happens then is if they fall outside of the parameters that we set or Chainlink sets, but mainly it's, uh, Chainlink is the most stringent than our criteria is the second most stringent. And if a token falls below that, but we think the project is still strong, right? They've got they've got liquidity, they've got a strong community, they've got a use case for their token. We will auto approve that token on our platform. What that does is it reduces sell pressure for our strategic partner tokens. Like for example, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll get into the VIP and tier and staking in a moment, but the idea is that if it's auto approved, that means that their community now can come and stake their token for loans on our pr protocol. We've reduced sell pressure within that community. If they have an NFT side to their to their uh, their platform, we can integrate their NFT uh, platform the same way we've done or are doing with uh, OpenSea and NF Trade and Nifty Gateway and Rarible. And then lastly, uh, well, second to last, reverse loans. If a if a token project is a strategic partner of ours, they will be able to um, tell us if reverse loans should be turned on or off or, or have a cap to the number of tokens that can be used for the reverse loan. Because reverse loans are generally bearish in nature. Um, it's a way to make money in altcoins. It would be like, well, I'll explain it briefly. If someone comes to the protocol, normally they would stake altcoins for a stable coin loan. With reverse loans, you're staking a stable coin to borrow an altcoin. Why would you do that? If you go and let's say borrow 100,000 Ferrum tokens, 
uh, and you think, and the reason you would do that is you'd put up a, a stable coin as collateral. Obviously, it's a very safe collateral for for the lender of the of the token. But uh, if you do that, then you would borrow the hundred thousand tokens because you think the market's going to go down or pull back. Now you could be wrong. It might not go down or pull back. But if it does go down, you can borrow the hundred thousand ferrum tokens. You can dump them on the market. Uh, you can wait for the market to go down. Uh, when you dump them on the market, you dump them into a stable coin, wait for the market to go down. Then you can buy back those 100,000 tokens for a lesser price, pocket the 10 or 20,000 in cash that you just made, pay back the loan in full. And what that does for, for the Ferrum holder is it gives them another steady stream of income paid out in a stable coin that they weren't going to get before. If they were planning on holding that token long term anyway, now they have a way to make more money, maybe even a living off of their holdings, right? In these stablecoin payouts. Um, it does create some sell pressure because if that function is turned on, then you've got somebody who is bearish, who is going to buy it and dump it. So for our strategic partners, this function can be turned off completely for the token, or there can be a cap. Or some projects may say, hey, we're we're totally for DeFi, it's all open for us, and they might just let it fly the way that it is. But our strategic partners have a say in that. Um, and then lastly, the most important thing, Ian, that I was getting to is that uh, for, there are three types of strategic partners. Um, they, there is our security and service strategic partners where we they don't have a token themselves usually, Chainlink does obviously, but like uh, for example, Zocchio is an auditing firm, very, very well known. Morales is, we're using their code, that's uh, Ivan on tech, um, right? So these are service partners where we're using their services, we co-market with them and they enhance the GovWorld ecosystem. Elite and VIP are, are uh, the second and third tier and that would be, where basically I just described, we obviously co-marketing initiatives, we can integrate NFT marketplace, automatic token approval on the GovLend for, for their community and reverse loans can be turned off on or off. And I'm sure that might be a community vote for a lot of these communities, right? Uh, but then the VIP would be one last step. And that is if we have, for example, DuckDAO, Ferrum, Pools, there's tier levels. One of the challenges if I could scroll up for one second, one of the challenges that people face in the market, right, is that uh, most altcoins don't have lending liquidity. We've talked about that. But the second thing is, is if they sell their token, they lose their tier level and they don't get to participate in presales. What right. we do is we generate a synthetic version of Ferrum back into their wallet. Anytime a Ferrum community member stakes for a loan, we will generate a synthetic token back into their wallet whereby Ferrum, DuckDAO, Pools, DexTools, these are all of our strategic VIP strategic partners. They can make use of that. They can, they can make use of that, that, that synthetic token um, in their own ecosystem and give credit, for example, to their community member for, um, for the same tier level that they had um, before. So therefore, uh, it's a it, the synthetic token is not a it doesn't have a value to it other than what the community at Ferrum or DuckDAO or Pools gives it. So if you're running staking pools, you can utilize it in your staking pools, but you don't have to. You could utilize it just to give them credit for for their tier level. And then when you go to unstake your loan, uh, you just stake back the synthetic token. It gets burned, and you get your native real token back. And the reason that's important is because it really uh, aligns incentives of everybody. You've got community members that don't wanna sell, but they're waiting around for the next pre-sale and they see, the, they see all these opportunities in this bull market and they wanna go have cash to play with it and uh, uh, play in the, in the bull market and make some money on the side, right? And not lose tier level for these pre-sales that are coming up. So that's a big, that's a big part, as long as the, as long as our strategic partner can utilize that synthetic token within their ecosystem, they will be a VIP uh, partner of ours, which will also come with other benefits down the road, which we won't get into now. So I wanted to just clear that up uh, or not clear that up, but at least kind of hit on that. Um, so far, our, our strategic partners are, like we said, NF Trade, DuckDAO, Ferrum Pools, Dex Tools, Trustpad, and InvestDex, which actually that should be up here. They're not an elite, they're, they're a, they're a VIP, but some some communities 
they have really complex staking mechanisms, as you know, Ian, and there can be really a lot of machinations and, and difficulty with, it's not a real simple way to integrate a synthetic token. If that's the case, the elite level for strategic partners would be perfect for them because they get all the other benefits uh, and their community still benefits. It's just, they don't communicate benefit as much as uh, the VIP level would. Got it. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because I do anticipate that there will be various different, uh, like you said, machinations of how this is implemented between various launch pads. But what I love about it is that you've now generated, you're able to create additional utility for what, you know, you could call these, um, you know, the to tokens that allow you to get into pre-sales uh, tier, tier based projects, so to speak. Um, and, and, and because there are so many of these launch pads, you have a clear uh, conduit or strategy for acquiring more partners. And we all know how important partnerships are in this space for things like marketing, um, just generating exposure, um, acquiring more token holders and so forth. So your project, I think, is perfectly set up for acquiring more partners. Um, and that's just, that's just, to me, that's huge. So um, again, I commend you guys everything um, that you built so far. Um, very clear to me that um, this, this is not the last we're going to hear from uh, Chris and Mustafa. You guys, you guys are on fire as far as I'm concerned. So keep up the great work. Thank you. Uh, Thank can't you. wait to uh, can't wait to see when this token launches when the project launches. A reminder to all the firm community members who are watching this: um, we're we we're about to start the the presale uh, for the firm community, and we're just so gracious to the GovWorld team for uh, giving us an allocation. Um, so with that, I want to thank you guys, and uh, hopefully you can come back in a couple months. Uh, we can walk through. You know, the new iteration of the product and the new services you're offering, because I'm sure there'll be uh, a lot more to talk about um, in the upcoming Definitely. months and years ahead. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Ian. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. You. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.